The conventional way that bomb squads deactivate these devices is they'll put a counter charge nearby. But you do that, the stuff is scattered all over the place. And you really can't get the forensic evidence that a lot of the material is destroyed. The purpose of Taurus was to be able to disassemble these devices without contaminating them. With the new popularity in virtual reality, we, we very early on started looking at the consumer VR and how it could be used as an interface to our robot systems. When we created the first DaVinci systems, we had to create our own 3D display technologies. Everything was new, but now instead of hundreds of thousands of dollars, we can now buy them at Best Buy for under $400. What is this evolving into? This doesn't look like a bomb diffusing robot. The robot hasn't changed at all. This is exactly the same Taurus that was created for bomb disposal, but we're looking at now repurposing it for surgical applications. This is like playing a video game. It feels oddly natural. It just feels like you're in a real world room. Getting some surgery done. How far away can you use this? Could you operate on an astronaut in space? Absolutely. We really see the Taurus acting as a, as a force multiplier. In the case of a battlefield medicine, having an experienced surgeon hands-on, but then having the robot there being operated by an experienced surgeon, perhaps back in the U.S., doing some of the less demanding things. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.